The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We start out with the German DAX. This time we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to look at the long-term weekly. I think the important thing to take off of this chart is that low that we made down there on December the 26th. Just about every market that we look at hit that major bottom there, and it was such a perfect number as far as uh, – Fibonacci ratios go. We've talked about it many times, but it was across all markets. Uh, so something really big happened at that point. So we'll watch it. We're really strong this morning, mainly because of the Chinese uh, re relaxing credit. And then also the banking stocks have come out with uh, with good uh, uh, earnings, I guess, is from what I heard from when I listened to Bloomberg uh, early this morning. So we'll, uh, we'll sort of you know, see what's going on over there. Now, uh, the next one we want to take a look at, of course, is the FTSE. Let's get this up here so that we can uh, take a quick look at this one, if I can find it. And here it is. We'll get up here, and you can see we're almost up to the 78% level here uh, in the FTSE. If you'll give me one second, I've got to move this over here. And there we are. Uh, that comes up around another 74, about another, uh, this is hourly chart, so about another 20 points, uh, there are 40 points, it should be there. We might even be there now, given the fact that we're strong this morning. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to wait and see whether that's going to, uh, to have happen, uh, to make it move or not. Now, we've got, this is a, um, you know, Marshall, there was so much stuff there that I, uh, I, I, I don't have my December chart, but there was a lot of stuff the last week of December and early January. But Mainly, uh, Marshall, it was the um, – you, you've seen the newsletter, Marshall, so you, you know what these are. But we hit the major 61 percent retracements from 2016. Uh, I mean, it, and the banking index was just absolutely, you know, spot on. And uh, that's the one that we've watched that, that keeps the keeps the, all the game going because that's where the money comes from. But there was just so many numbers. there. I've posted them so many times here that I don't think it's necessary to uh, to do it again. There was 1.618 expansions and, you know, all of those things. So it was uh, it was lined up, uh, you know, pretty pretty nicely. Now, you know, folks, I, I do a lot of extra work with uh, artificial intelligence. I've had that. Uh, I don't know anything about it, but I finance it. <laughs> but uh, I've been working with uh, a young man out of uh, New York. He's in between jobs right now. He's... Uh, been working for a bank and he's moving over to uh, I believe a insurance company in a few months so I've only got him for a few months to work with it but he's made some really really uh, amazing improvements on the program that I've been using I just wanted to show you uh, this is what was happening last night I want to bring this to your attention because it was really uh, really quite exciting you notice here was the forecast was at four o'clock in the morning now I got this forecast 12 hours before uh, it even opened over there. So this was already, uh, this is the European market, of course. And those of you that were uh, watching this at last night, you'll notice that at that time, I guess that's when the Chinese people came out and, uh, you know, uh, decided that they were going to, uh, you know, make the market go up. And you can see we went from 28.93. Well, we actually got to 29.11. The high we made up here, and, and th these are these are not related to price, folks. Those those numbers on the right are not related to price. It's related to time. And I know it's hard to fathom that, but it's all based on timing. That's what the whole thing of the Tomahawk warhead missile was based on timing. When the rocket came out of the submarine, uh, that's when the um, the uh, coordinates would go on and tell which direction to go and what to look for. And that's what they used the artificial intelligence for, is they could determine whether it was a whale or a submarine or whether it was a pharmaceutical uh, company or a hospital. It knew how to do those things, and uh, that's why 
uh, it was so very effective, and they're still using them to this day. But uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work this way all the time. But when it does, it certainly makes you feel good, and it makes you uh, at least makes it worth your effort getting up at that time in the morning. So that's uh, that's neither here nor there. We had another one too that was really quite exciting. Uh, and then I'll get on to something else. This was the uh, this was the one that we had in crude oil. And again, look at exactly four o'clock. You had that big rally. In fact, it kept going higher, and it did make a, a sli slightly higher high back here at the 7:30 time frame. But it's still a little early in the day to uh, see what's going to happen. Now we're Friday in an up week. Uh, we've got tax day on Monday. So that's going to be always uh, something very, very interesting. It's also, uh, if anybody can guess what the historical significance of April 15th is, come on, boys and girls, let's see the historians out there. I'll give you a hint. 1865, going to the opera. Yep, it was the day that Abraham Lincoln was killed. So a uh, very sad day in our history. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to uh, some of the other things that we want to talk about. I think the most important thing this week that we're looking at, and we talked about it at length every single day, and that is the fact that these bonds are beginning to look like that 150 area, 150.20, is a major top. We came down to that 147. We were only able to rally up to 148.11. And now we're breaking. We went below 147 uh, just a little while ago, and uh, that should be some pretty strong support. If it doesn't hold there, then you know we're getting ready to break. But it certainly doesn't look very good uh, on a technical basis. Just looking at this 30-year uh, uh, T-bond on a daily chart, you can see that perfect 61% retracement up there at 150.20. And uh, now we're you know heading down. And believe me, this is nothing more. From that head and shoulders, that's nothing more than a rally in a bear market. Now, this is still bullish because of that head and shoulders pattern, but be because we've gone below the 38% level and we're almost ready to break below the 50% level, it's telling us that this is uh, this is an important pattern to pay attention to. This is what the interest rates are, are based on. I was listening to Tom O'Brien before the show, and he was mentioning that if you have a bond – in France, you have to pay them two tenths of a percent, and it's four tenths of a percent uh, if you buy a bond in uh, Germany. In other words, you have to pay them in order to buy the bond. I'm rather keep it in a mattress. I mean, give me a break. I'll never understand that one. That goes back to Bernard Baruch, his autobiography called My Own Story. He said, Don't be concerned on the return on your money, be concerned on the return of your money, and that's what's uh, very, very important. One other one that is looking extremely interesting today, folks, is that uh, euro that we're watching. Uh, we're in the midst of an eight-day rally now. We've got up to the 131, excuse me, 113, 113.20 uh, 20 has been our high so far today. Uh, this is the eighth day of the rally. Uh, doesn't really mean very much up in here. If you notice, you can see that 131.10 one one three ten up there is uh, right at some pretty strong resistance. Uh, it's a little small A B C D pattern. If you look at the half hour chart, you'll be able to see it relatively clearly. But uh, you know, this is really not much of a bounce so far. But you know, we we have to get through today. The real key number is the one below at one eleven sixty. That's the key. We're going to take a break here to pay a few bills, and then I have an important announcement. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I have an announcement. Uh, next week, I'm going to be uh, working with Tom uh, Jr. at TFNN from 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. That's right after my usual show. And then on the 16th, I'm going to be doing Tom's show from 3 to 5 p.m. on the 16th. And I'm also going to be doing it on the 17th. So I'll be doing five extra hours next week if you wanted to go in to listen to it, www.tfnn.com. And we'll probably have some fun things. I'm going to have some guests, I hope, to help me through that two-hour show because two hours is not an easy gig. Let's take a look here at the U.S. dollar index. Uh, you'll notice the double top that we made between November and March. We had the breakdown to the exact 78% level there on the 20th of March. We then rallied for the next two weeks right up to the exact 78% level at 97.10. We've been in a very flat trading range all week long, folks. I mean, it's just ho hovering there, so it's getting ready to make up its mind. Right now, it appears that it wants to come down, but this, is, uh, this can change very quickly. It only takes a slight sell-off of 60 or 70 pips in the uh, euro, and we could easily break out to the upside here in the dollar index, and that breakout would be above the 97.40 level. Um, it's got a tremendously strong bullish bias because the higher bottoms that we've had since 2011 are very, very important. We've shown that on the weekly chart many times, but it does have a positive bias. But this can easily change because if the euro gets strong and if the euro gets above that 114.50 level, then this, this analysis here would tell us that we are heading down in the U.S. dollar index, most probably towards the 94 level. That hasn't happened as of yet, but that's what it's looking like right now. We've had a question from Ruby to take a look at the wheat. We can do that, Ruby. Let's get this up here so we can take a quick look. I think the easiest way to look at it, of course, is to uh, do it two ways. I'm going to do it two ways here, Ruby, because we've had a 
situation here in Minneapolis wheat where we went down to that 1.618 expansion down there, and I haven't checked whether that 520 level held or not. I uh, I didn't really get into it because I was too busy doing uh, things with the AI program, and I really didn't get a chance to, to look at it. But we double-checked that May Minneapolis wheat if it stayed above the 520 level. But let's take a look here at the uh, at the Christmas wheat here. Excuse me, it's a May wheat that I'm looking at right here. And uh, you'll see that uh, we are uh, in a real interesting spot right now. Uh, right now, we're trading at the... Um, at trading around the uh, f uh, four, 457 level. If we get that down to about 447, uh, Ruby, that's a that's going to be a really nice Gartley pattern. If you'll just do it on an hourly basis, you'll be able to see that it lined it would line up perfectly uh, at around 447 in the May wheat. And as uh, Gartley said in his book on page 222, buy the first ABCD correction in a bull market and sell the first A, B, C, D correction in the bear market and all the others in between. Anyway, that's what it looks like in the wheat. Uh, I'm looking at the, the my the one I'm focusing on these November beans, Ruby, because uh, I believe that if there's going to be any really big surprise uh, weather wise, uh, it, it could be because of the El Nino. And I don't know if that's going to happen. But we've had four major years now of just super crops. And I think this might be one of those years where maybe it might not be so super. And when they move, they move very, very dramatically. They haven't got to my buy price yet. In the November beans, it's down about another 25 cents, which it can cover very, very quickly. The report this past week that we had, uh, Rich Anderson told us that it was basically very negative to corn, and yet corn has been able to rally through this. So we'll see. The normal uh, product that we have for the soybeans, it was pretty much the crop was the same. And the Brazilian crop was also uh, a slight disappointment, but nothing of any significance at all from what they say. Now, folks, the Chinese, you've got to remember, the Chinese are really great traders. They always have been. You know, if you ever played Mahjong, I don't play Mahjong, but the princess certainly does. But uh, if you play that game, you've got to be thinking, you've got to be thinking quick all the time. And those Chinese traders are very, very good. When I went to... Uh, uh, open the Shanghai. I didn't open it, but I was invited as a guest at the Shanghai stock market back in, uh, five years ago. Uh, it was a beautiful 93-story building, and all the traders were there and stuff. And of course, it's all computerized. There's no pits or anything like that. But uh, you'd be surprised how risk-averse these folks are. That's the one thing that they're doing correctly: is to follow what your losses are. Take care of your losses. The profits will take care of themselves for sure. Well, not for sure, but really, really close. Now, we want to take a look here at the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average because we're trading around 26,370 right now, I believe, getting near that other high up here. We've actually, in the last 10 days, we've only had one down day, and that was uh, the day before yesterday. So this thing is still looking like it possibly has legs. I mean, how much higher can it go? I don't know, but nobody else knows either. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Walt Disney is very strong. They're coming out with some type of a streaming product. I don't know what that is. It doesn't affect me because my little telephone can barely accept calls, let alone do any screaming. But uh, it's got a lot of stuff on these telephones nowadays, boys and girls. It's uh, it's actually so scary. I mean, it's uh, it's just really amazing to me. I don't know. Um, Regard. Someone's asked a question about the bonds. Uh, we're oversold here now in the bonds. There should be some support at that 147 level uh, in the bonds. The, old, the other low we made just a few days ago was 146.26. We rallied a point and a half, and we're coming down again. We're either making a major test here, or we're getting ready to probably, you know, go a little bit lower. I'm saying that the test is probably in, and we'll be able to uh, to see what's uh, see what's going on. Uh, as far as the uh, the crude oil goes, I, I believe that we're up near a topping area in crude. I don't know if it's going to uh, be a major top, but there's a possibility that uh, you know the crude oil you know could have a, a correction here. But we have a real interesting one. We'll just bring this up so we can follow it just for just for a little uh, giggles and uh, giggles and laughs. If you take a look here, this is the uh, the AI program that we're looking at. Uh, for this morning, 
you'll notice that we're looking for a low to come in around crude oil around 12 o'clock. So the last four hours of the day could show a substantial rally, and we are in an up move. There's no question about that. So, you know, watch what the market's doing around 12 o'clock. If it's making a high, you sell it. If it's making a low, you buy it. You risk a few hundred bucks, and either you'll be right or wrong. That's all it. I mean, it's either spot on accurate or it doesn't work. So you, you've you got to stand aside if it doesn't work. No question about it. Some of them have been, you know, really good. Yesterday was one of those days where everything lined up perfectly. It doesn't always do that, but that's what's uh, that's what we're going on right now. The one thing that's on my, my watch list today is that wheat. If we can get that wheat down about another 10 cents, that would be a very interesting pattern because of the uh, the Gartley that's setting there. So it'll be interesting to see if we, in fact, uh, get to that point. Folks, if you have any questions, and the lines are filled up right now, but Al just told me they opened up 10 brand new lines here at TFNN. So the lines are reopened. It's 877-927-6648. And we'll try to answer your questions for you. And if I don't know the answer, I will make something up. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, this next chart is for Ruby. It is July wheat. Uh, if you look at this, I believe it's the hourly chart. 
you can see that we've got a very nice Gartley forming about seven or eight cents lower down there. Uh, it looks like we might get there right after the opening because we sold off about eight or nine cents right before that time. So it could be in a down move to that level, but uh, you can become a farmer there, not risk more than, you know, 10 cents at the very most, which is $500. You don't have to lease the land or buy a tractor or do any of the labor yourself, which is pretty good. But uh, I am watching for a potential low here uh, in the wheat. It might, you know, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but uh, it's going to be interesting. Now, I'm, I'm, I have a buy setting in there at the July wheat because I believe in these numbers, uh, you know, wholeheartedly, as most of you know. But, uh, you know, sometimes they fail. They fail quite a bit. So you've got to realize that when they fail, you've got to stand aside and, uh, you know, move on to the next trade. That's basically what you're what you're watching here. I will certainly be watching the uh, uh, when we have this next full moon that's coming up here on the 19th of April. And we will have Norm Winsky on next week on Thursday. He'll be on on the 18th. So it'll be interesting. I will have some guests. Uh, during the uh, Tom O'Brien show between three to five, and we'll be watching that. Uh, you know, we'll see what's uh, hold on. Anyway, I agree with you, Tommy. I, I believe that the Nasdaq is showing that the market is uh, probably this is just a lot of emotionalism, which we we see it all the time when it moves 200 points or something in a matter of a seconds because of a some type of a news announcement, and it's very thin during that time, and then it starts to uh, starts to rally. But you know. Heaven knows, can certainly go a lot higher if it wants to. That's that's absolutely for sure. Okay, let's move on to the next one. We've had a question about the Bitcoin. This is going to be interesting, folks, on Bitcoin because we'll be able to watch. If you'll give me a second here to get this up here, you'll be able to watch what's going to happen here. Now, it, this is just as a day off, folks. So I haven't been able to get the actual high, and the actual high was just above 55, and now we'll watching is to see the 382 pullback, which should get us down to about $4,700 a share. I still can't believe I can say that, $4,700 a share. Boy, when I first started trading stocks, well, that was a long time ago, but uh, the biggest stock on the New York Stock Exchange was uh, Superior Oil. It was like $1,200 a share. <laughs> anyway, uh, you'll, you'll see here that we've had some type of a big volume breakout here uh, on April the 4th, and uh, it looks like it's getting ready to uh, start a whole nother leg up. In fact, it's you know it's already moved from 3,100 to 5,500. That's uh, 1,600 points in just a matter of uh, – uh, it's only been what uh, – it's been what, four months, though, so it's uh, started to move. Whether it's going to get back to 19,000 or not, folks, I don't know. But there's going to be a lot of, lot of chances in the Bitcoin if you're going to do that. I have not traded the cryptocurrencies. I don't plan to. The only reason I bring it up is because if someone has a question, I know that tracks nicely with the patterns because you've got the, you know, you got the the public in there. So anytime you've got some good liquidity and you got the public, these patterns are going to work. They don't work all the time, but they work a ha whole lot more than uh, when they don't. All right, I'll take a look at Disney here and see where we are. We might as well, since the whole world wants it today. We'll get us. Mickey Mouse is already a big thing. Hold on a second. It was amazing, though, that they didn't use M as the uh, the New York Stock Exchange would not allow. Well, I'm not going to get into that. That's not, that's political stuff. You don't need to know that. Here's Disney. Let's get it up here on the daily, and then we'll also look at it on the weekly. Whoa, we leaving a gap today, boys and girls. Shut the front door and raise the rent. This is definitely some type of a breakaway gap, much like we saw in Starbucks. Let's get this up here. You'll be able to see it here. Um, the thing, on you, when you see a gap like this, folks, you see the big gap there? What you want to do is you want to buy the day before it gaps up. It's a very important market principle that when you have a big gap up like this, you want to buy before it gaps up. And if it gaps down, you want to sell it the day before it gaps down. It's very, very important. That's uh, my two cents worth. And, of course, you realize it's sort of tongue-in-cheek, but we'll see. This is right. Mr. Z has just pointed out something in the – oh, this is really amazing. I'm just not even going to draw the lines in. I'll just let you take a look at this. Here is something from a Mr. Z here. You'll look look at this look at this big volume breakout that we're having now in Disney. 
I mean, uh, wow, this is, uh, we're moving 13 points today. This is a, this is very important, folks. You see that long consolidation from 2015 to where we are now and all higher bottoms? The, the, this is a big breakout in Disney. I don't know how high it's going to go. Let's just take a quick look to see what the 1.618 expansion is. But uh, it should make that without any trouble because it's already at the almost at the 127, and 145 is the uh, 1.618 expansion here in Mickey Mouse. But let's just look up here. There you go. You see, there, your 127 comes in at 131. We're trading at 129, and 144.95 is the 1.618 expansion. We could easily easily get to that and the other thing we could do is we could stop right here at 129 there's uh either one of those could uh, be in the in the cards for this so we'll see if that is uh going to be the case we'll have to do one thing at a time the euro now we've got trading it at the 113 uh, 14 level i want to get this up so we can you can see it here because uh it's got a very nice gartley pattern coming in quite clearly here if we'll just get it up here You'll see it, it's gonna come in right about there. And let's get this chart in so you folks can take a quick look at it. I hope these charts come out okay because sometimes they don't they don't pop up. But anyway, you'll notice we've had higher bottoms here since since April the second. We had a higher bottom on the seventh, the higher bottom on the tenth, higher bottom yesterday, and that tells us we're gonna go to one thirteen fifty. We're only thirty five pips away. So that's certainly in the ballpark of doing that. Okay, any other questions? No other questions. 877-927-6648. Hold the calls, folks, because uh, Al's telling me that the old board is lit up. There's just no no chance to get through right now because there's so many people clamoring to, to get on the air here. But we'll, we'll get everybody covered before the end of the day. Somebody, please pass the Prozac to me, please. Let's move over here to one other one that I want to look at. And here is the uh, the composition because we're going higher here today in the NASDAQ. We've uh, made a little bit higher high here uh, this week, so we'll pay sort of close attention to that one too. But uh, it's going to be very, very interesting. This is a Friday in an up week, and we've had up weeks ever since the last week of December with that big bottom that was formed there, and that was the mother of all bottoms, just like the one in, in 2009. That was, a, that was one to really uh, you know, learn from historically because these numbers have just been extremely accurate. Take a look at platinum. You bet, Ruby, just one second. We'll do that for you. You know, we have to pay a few bills, and then we will bring up platinum, and I will post the chart. I'll do the weekly and the daily so you can see it because... Uh, it's interesting because Jim Flanagan of the GAN Educators over in Santa Monica, California, is extremely bullish platinum. He thinks platinum's going 2,000. So let's wait and see. I'll, pro I'll post these charts after the break. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold 
gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Oh my goodness, we have a caller that finally got through. The calls must have slowed down a bit. Beverly, are you there? How are you? I'm here, and I waited so long. My gosh, you must have had 20 <laughs> uh, calls ahead you. of me. Thank, oh, thank you so much for being so patient, dear. What can I, what can I help you with? I wanted to know when you lived in Princeton, and wh who did you work for? Uh, when I was there, I was there in uh, 1985 and 86. I was there for 18 months. I lived right there on campus, and I worked for uh, Bill Crocker and his girlfriend who ended up marrying Elaine Schatzenbach. But that Bill Crocker is who I work for. That's who I reported to. You basically work for yourself. But um, So you didn't, you didn't work at a, out of any office? You just worked out of your house? No, no, no. I, I was there. I, I, I was on campus there for a while, and then I went back to California and worked for a few months. And then when I went through a divorce, they automatically put you on a three-month sabbatical. And uh, during that sabbatical time, I realized I wanted to be on my own, and uh, mm -hmm. I just went out on my own. You know, I, I still had friends there and went back there several times after that, but uh, it well, was When you a, say you really, lived on campus, you lived on the university had, campus? No, right. They had a dormitory right there, right on Mount Mount Lucas. They had a Mount Lucas road. There were about 12, uh, 12 units there, I believe, that hmm. people stayed I, at. I drive up, up and down Mount, Mount Lucas practically every day. So I was just trying to yeah. figure out where you, Did you ever go to Canty's for their garlic pizza or Abel's Bagels? Uh, oh, the bagel place. Well, pizza, of course, I've been there, but the bagels, uh, we, we always had them brought in. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, aw that, they were awesome. Uh, in fact, I love pumpernickel with cream cheese. That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, they had, they yeah. also had a cinnamon roasted bagel. That was incredible. Oh, so. yeah. There's well, a place. It's a, in, it's a it, wonderful town to have moved away from because the house we yeah. lived in in Princeton when we when we bought it the taxes were eight thousand uh, dollars, and today that same house the taxes are twenty one thousand dollars a year. Yeah, how much did it drop in price during that time, Beverly? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the average yeah. house in Princeton is over a million bucks. That's the oh average my, house. Uh, oh my God, I know it's a uh, it's it's credible. It's the same thing in Hong Kong. And my God, Hong Kong. I mean, you, you you can see one of these uh, these uh, little out you know little garage things you put up uh, temporary. They have people that live in those things uh, in uh, Hong Kong out of the new territory because things are so expensive. Twenty thousand dollars a square foot. That's is, incredible. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, that? it's, well, well, not many people can, but they, <laughs> all the people from China coming in, you know, what they did was they, uh, if they bought a million dollars worth of property, they gave them Hong Kong citizenship. And once they did that, they gave them access to the world. 
So, uh, so that's yeah. that, that's why the stuff went crazy. But it's a fun place to go. But you know, that's a beautiful area, though. I mean, I uh, I certainly like Princeton much more than I like Yale because it's uh, the Princeton, New Jersey is really cool place. Well, the whole the whole central. Uh, central New Jersey is beautiful, rolling hills, the sour lands. I, I call it New Jersey's best kept secret because I don't tell anybody how nice it is. It's called the Garden State, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of vegetables yeah. growing around here: corn, cattle, horses. Yeah. Hey, listen, actually, why don't you call I, I live it? On a farm. Why don't you call I live in? On a horse why farm, you, but they have don't... Texas Longhorns here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> why don't you call in more often? I, it's been I about a that. year since you called in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know it's I know it's really hard getting through on some days, but give it a shot. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I pay solitaire because I was just doing that while I was waiting. Ah, good. <laughs> hey, thanks for calling in, Beverly. I really, Be Beverly, what is your last name? Do you mind telling me? It's Kidder, K I D D E R. Okay. My husband and is a Naval Academy graduate. Oh, and yeah. I am a graduate of Wisconsin in radio, television, and film. Wow. My uh, my dad's brother went to uh, Annapolis, and uh, I've been there several times. Uh, he was in the same class as the guy that won two Navy crosses. No one's ever done that. <laughs> and uh, that was during World War II. Anyway, thanks for calling in, dear. I really appreciate it. Good enough. Thank you. You bet. Bye -bye. Thanks, Beverly. Okay, let's move on here and talk a little bit about the other things that are important in the market. The main thing, I believe, is what's happening in the Treasury bonds, folks. They're starting to weaken. It looks like uh, there's a possibility here that uh, that major top at that 150.20. The other one to look at, of course, is that dollar index and the euro those are the ones that are the really key ones that you need to focus on because uh, I believe those will be the one that's, uh, oh, the platinum, platinum, platinum. Yes, I've got the platinum. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me. No, no relation to Margot Kidder at all. Just a second here. Oh, here's the platinum. Let's get the weekly up here. Here's the weekly first one. Thanks for reminding me. So many calls coming in. Then uh, we'll take a look at it here. Oh, shucks, I hit the wrong button. Sorry, Al. I know you're mad at me, but nothing else I can do. Okay, there's platinum on the weekly basis. We got up to that 1.618, 920. We backed off to 890. And what we're doing right now is we're hovering uh, up near this uh, area of a 903. If we can get above, if we can get above that 920 level, it's going to have legs. The key thing is to watch the support in the platinum at the 880 level if we get there. That's going to be very, very interesting to watch that because if it can hold that 880, I want to show you why. Here's your daily chart of the platinum. If you look at it really closely, you'll see that the old breakout level was at 880. And if you pull back, that's going to be the 382 retracement. And it's going to be down $50, I see $40 from the, $40 from the high. So that was a high that was made back in October of last year. It was also made in February of this year. And going back and touching those high at a 382 level is a very, very powerful technical signal. So watch the platinum if we get down to 8080. Now, my fondest wish, because I'm still bearish gold and still short, that we get down to another $30 lower in the gold, which may mean that we could get down another $20, $25 lower in the platinum. Uh, that would put everything together at the same time. And platinum being the strongest would probably be the best to buy. I'm I'm looking at gold because I I do not trade platinum very often. Occasionally I do, but uh, the gold is the one that I'm watching. I still think we've got a good chance of getting to that, uh, you know, 1265 level in the spot gold. We've been through that every day this week. We've talked about it. So we'll watch it really, really closely for sure. Um, by the way, let's just double check. I need to check the prices here because I've been talking and I haven't looked and I want to see how uh, well, the wheat just stopped right at the 78% level. It didn't really do very much. So we'll see what's going on. The euro's nothing much. The crude oil's still holding a bit older. Yeah, nothing really too exciting going on yet today on uh, Friday. But uh, we've got a really active week next week, uh, not just because it's tax day, but because uh, we got a lot of astrological things happening on uh, Monday and Tuesday, and so those will be, be fun to look at. And, of course, we'll have Norm Winsky on on Thursday, the 18th, the day before we have the uh, the next full moon. And we start the planting uh, the crops now, so that's going to be an interesting phenomenon that we're looking at also. Okay, 
All righty, and here we've got uh, the S&Ps trading. We had a high just spiked up here at uh, 29.15. Uh, those of you that uh, watch uh, key times of the day, uh, the key time for the day is 8, uh, 10.45 today, Eastern time. Watch that very, very closely. It might be something that may have some significance. I'll bring it up here. You can take a quick look at it if you like. May or may not work, but as they say in the trades, you have to kiss a lot of frogs before you find your princess. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're trading up around 29.12 in the old S&P, getting close to those old highs. So we're up about almost 300 points in the Dow, so that's uh, smoking and joking. So we'll see what happens today. A lot of this is related to what's happening to the banking stocks and also what's happening with the credit in China. They've opened the floodgates uh, in China to uh, get the credit moving, and that's to get the people stimulated to buy. And uh, the only problem is someday after they buy, they might have to pay it off, but they never tell you that.
Pay attention, folks. Uh, we still believe we've got a chance in the gold to drop another 30 bucks. That's what we're looking for. Uh, you know, I hate to use the word hope, but uh, the expectation is, and of course, all of your frustrations in this business come from unfulfilled expectations. So I am just keeping my fingers crossed. And uh, we'll see if we can get that gold down. If we hit the gold down to that 1265, that's going to be a, a monumental buy, folks. Uh, just all we have to do is to wait for the 200-day moving average to cross the 400-day moving average, and that signal will kick in. But uh, we really want to watch that gold if it gets down to that 1260 area. That's such a beautiful ABCD, and it's the first major one in well over 18 months. So that'll be a really, really important one to uh, pay attention to. And re remember, it's all technical, folks. It has nothing to do with any fundamentals because I have no no clue of what's going with the fundamentals. But we'll see if uh, we can get to that level or not. I'm not sure, but we'll be watching it uh, without any, any stretch of the imagination. Now, I will be on next week on Monday. I'm going to be on uh, from 9 o'clock till... Uh, 11 o'clock. So being the second half of the hour, I'll be working with Tommy O'Brien while his dad's out of town, and we will do that show together. And then I'll do to 3 to 5 p.m. on the 16th and 3 to 5 p.m. on the 17th. So you can get some extra. If you want to put yourself asleep, just uh, click on the radio show, and I'll do my best to keep you, uh, keep you asleep. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.